Hey guys, welcome back to Brain Eaters. I'm Riddhi, and in today's video, we are going to talk about how to pass EM3 in one to two days. So, as we all know, the university timetable has changed, and we don't have that you know five to six days ka gap. We only have one to two days ka gap. So now the question arises that how to score or how to even pass this subject because as we all have the habit to study all the like questions and entire syllabus at you know the last time preparation so don't worry we are here to help you we have a plan for you that is we'll be dividing the important question set into four sections we'll be telling you what the questions are and you have to complete it accordingly and later on we have a exact timetable that how you are going to do that so wait for it so till then let's get started with the section questions that is the first question is write a short note on carter's coefficient this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is illustrate with phase diagram the working of capacitor start single phase induction motor which is 5 to 10 marks next question is draw the equivalent circuit of three phase induction motor and state the relevance of each parameter and write the equation for mechanical motor developed or derive the output equation of a three phase induction motor in terms of dimensions this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is write the numerical for applications of three phase im and circle diagram this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is write the numerical for main dimensions this can come for 5 to 10 marks so these five questions you have to do in section 1 let's go to section 2 where the first question is write the numerical for torque speed characteristics in bra- braking next question is derive equivalent circuit diagram for three phase induction motor next question is what is the frame and frame size in case of induction motor draw a figure showing the structural dimensions and standard frame okay this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is explain the effect of frequency and voltage variation on induction motor performances this can come for 5 to 10 marks Next question is write the objective of performing no load or blocked rotor test on three phase induction motor this can come for 5 to 10 marks so these are the five questions you need to do in section 2 let's go to section 3 where in the first question is explain capacitor start one phase single uh, phase induction motor this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is explain dispersion coefficient this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is what is the significance of magnetic loading this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is why do we need to apply reduced voltage at the time of starting of three phase induction motor this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is explain the calculation of leakage resistance uh, sorry reactance for parallel sided stator slot or induction motor this can come for 5 to 10 marks so these are the five questions in section 3 let's go to section 4 where in the first question is state the factors affecting the choice of specific electric and magnetic loadings of a three phase induction motor justify the statements okay this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is illustrate double field revolving theory of single phase induction motor and hence prove the single phase induction motor is not self starting this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is illustrate with speed of torque characteristics vf control of induction motor this can come for 5 to 10 marks next question is illustrate working of star delta starter with neat diagram state its function or illustrate a neat label diagram and working of three phase induction motor this can come for 5 to 10 marks and next question is write a short note on first double field revolving theory second cogging and crawling in three phase induction motor third reluctance starting in one phase induction motor these can come for 5 to 10 marks so guys these were the most important 20 concepts that you have to do before going for em3 and the question is that how we are going to plan everything everything so don't worry we are coming up with a series which is uh, which is uh, already uploaded on the channel you can go and check in which you will be you know getting an idea that how to plan your proper schedule and accordingly prepare for your nsem exams 
You can also refer the brain trust materials available on the website that are brain trust question banks, brain trust question papers and brain trust blueprints. In question banks, you'll be getting a set of important questions that, that you need to do before going to EM3. In question papers, there is a proper color scheme applied to the question paper wherein you'll get to know that you know this question has repeated many times so this is important and etc in blueprints you will be getting an idea that okay this question consists of this module so accordingly you can plan that uh, which questions you want to attempt so this was all for today you can like this video share this video with your friends comment down whatever doubts we you have you can join our whatsapp community wherein we'll sharing we'll be sharing the resources you can uh, follow us on instagram wherein we come live regularly and help you in your doubts okay subscribe to our channel because amazing video regarding your exams are going to come okay thank you so much for supporting see you in the next video till then take care and bye bye